Good morning, handsome. Hi, honey. I cannot believe that we just hit 300,000 subscribers on here. That like blows my mind completely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I started making videos with Tiptoe in August of 2020. We started on TikTok because I had seen so many people post videos of what I make my husband for lunch, what I cook my children for lunch, and they're so cute and so fun, and I don't have a husband, and I don't have children. However, I have tiptoe, so at the time I thought this is a perfect opportunity, get a good little chuckle from my friends, and kind of just show what what goes into to quote unquote cooking for a 175 pound tortoise. In honor of today being the big day for T, I wore one of his favorite outfits that I wear. Very, very bright, very colorful, all the flowers. And the first few times that I wore it, he would like literally chase me around the yard thinking that he could take a chomp. However, now he definitely gets that this is a friend, not food. And Tiptoe has a mind of his own. He wants to go his own way. So he's gonna scoot around that other way and hopefully come back, but it may be just us for a moment. Prior to posting videos with Tiptoe, I had my real girl job. I have my undergrad in special education and rehab, and then I have my master's in special education behavior support, also commonly known as applied behavior analysis. I worked at a company that provides ABA services to children with autism and other related disorders. It was the most amazing job ever. I had so much fun with it, but two days before we went on lockdown for the pandemic, I actually quit my job so I could study for the board certification. It's called your BCBA, which would make you a board certified behavior analyst, which is definitely a huge goal of mine. And we went into lockdown two days be or two days after I quit my job. That's why when I posted that first video of Tiptoe and it did so well, I think it was like within an hour, it had like a million views, which was crazy. First video we ever posted and it did not take very long for me to realize that this is something that I I enjoy so much and I'm so lucky to be able to share Tiptoe with everybody. He's definitely an obscure animal, but he has just been a part of our family for so long that he's very he's a very normal guy for us. The fact that there are 300,000 other people who enjoy Tiptoe as much as myself and my family do is so amazing. We're so lucky to have him. And I'm so lucky that <laughs> my parents are the type of parents who were able to adapt to the new friend in the house. I feel like it's very common to get an animal like Tiptoe and kind of like come to the realization that maybe, maybe that isn't the best fit. But Tiptoe, we just love him. It would not be an appropriate Tiptoe celebration if we did not celebrate with food. So, we are gonna try some baby bok choy with Mr. T today. He's been doing this thing with the pool where he, he loves to kind of be sideways on it, have two legs in, two legs out, and like shimmy his way through. I don't know, he's a creative guy. What do you think of that, Tippy? You say thank you to your friends. <laughs> Oops. I guess you can eat. Sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant to let him eat the uh, the little end bits, but I, I got Tipto when I was seven years old, so he has been a part of my life for pretty much most if not all of the things that I can actually remember and it has been such a wild ride. You know growing up Tiptoe is definitely my special interest. I will insert some pictures here of my matching clothing items that I would wear with him and whatnot. I was definitely very much so a tortoise girl so to be able to to reflect on that now and see that tortoise girl is actually working for said tortoise you know <laughs> 20 years later is just so funny.
I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for all you for all of you guys. I I'm so excited for Tiptoe's future as well. There's so many things that I feel like would be amazing for us to do whether it's getting to get into like writing children's books clearly that's right up my alley i love education there really are a lot of things that we can do in the future i would say right now our focus is honestly just trying to make things think a little bit less add in some fun some flavor He's just so chill. Like he is a 10 out of 10 ultimate chill and ski man. 99% of the time, sometimes he's a little bit naughty, but like who isn't? And Tiptoe, he's got a lot to teach us. for whatever the future holds for Mr. Tippy and I and like I said before I just could not be we could not be more appreciative of you guys for following along and being interested in what a 175 pound tortoise does what a animal momager does hi we have a lot of plans this year you need to to really get your working steps into you Maybe a movie. Oh no. That's okay. Okay. 